Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Haley and today we're doing something brand new for me. We're doing a battle of the boxes between three really popular styling service boxes, um, Wantable, Dia & Co, and Stitch Fix. So I have done Stitch Fix for a while now. I've done Dia & Co kind of off and on here throughout the years and then I'm actually trying Wantable for the very first time this time around. So I'm excited to see kind of how these three boxes compare to each other size wise, price wise, quality wise, all of that stuff. So we're going to compare all three boxes in one video. So funny story, um, this was originally just supposed to be Stitch Fix versus Wantable. Um, but then Dia and Co decided they wanted to be in on the fun too. And they sent me a box around the same time. I thought I had canceled my subscription with them altogether and they sent me a box. So I was like, might as well include them in this as well. So we are going to go through all of the items in each box, talk about how I feel about each item and kind of compare them to each other. So without further ado, let's look at the Wantable box. So like I said, this is actually my first time trying Wantable. So it's new to me. My stylist doesn't really know my style yet. So I'm kind of going to give them a little bit more grace than I probably would with Dia & Co and Stitch Fix. But um, Wantable is a $21.40 styling fee. Interesting how that works out. Um, and they have a stream on there where you can go through and um, choose items like request items that you want in your box. And so I did that. They ended up not even sending me anything that I had chosen, but they tried to kind of go off of that and send me some similar things. Um, in a wantable box, you get seven items and you get a discount if you keep five or more. So my notes that I gave my stylist say, I'm a teacher, so my workplace style is business casual, but pretty laid back. I also need some casual pieces for the weekends. My style is a little boho, a little classic. Comfort is key. I typically like my tops loose and my bottoms more fitted, although I do like flowy pants and flowy skirts. My order note, I said I was on the hunt for a great pair of jeans, preferably either a skinny or a slim straight, a medium to dark wash, and a little but not too much distressing. And I could use shorts and summer tops as well. And so my stylist, her name is Aubrey, and she says, Hi, Haley, welcome to Wantable. How exciting, this is your first style edit. I'm Aubrey, your personal stylist. Awesome, you've already visited the stream. That helps me understand the styles you love. It looks like we don't have your exact request available right now, but I did snag some new arrivals. I think you'll love to make up for it. Thank you for your note. I hope you love everything. I'd love to see that you're upping your bottoms game with this limited time shorts edit. So I did get the shorts edit, side note. I hope you love finding different combos with the three bottoms and perfectly pairable pieces I've curated for you. After you find your faves, be sure to let me know what you think at self-checkout, then snap a selfie and share on Instagram. Tag us at hashtag I am wantable and at wantable for a chance to be featured. Bottoms up. Cool. So there's my note from my stylist. Let's go ahead and do a try on of the items in this box. First from Wantable is the W by Wantable short ruffle sleeve tee in Kelly Green size 1X for $68. I love the color of this top, love the flutter sleeve. The material is super soft. It's like a nice jersey knit. Um, it's a super cute top, front tucked, but $68. That is not a price that I'm willing to pay for this top. It feels like the Lux tees at Old Navy that are like 20. So I can't, I can't pay that much. These jeans are the Love Vervet High Rise Slim Straight in Medium Light Blue, size 14W for $74. Kind of pricey, but I love these jeans. I think they are so comfortable and flattering. I love the bottom. Honestly, they feel like Madewell or Judy Blue. Like, I think they're worth that price tag, honestly. This is the West Key Floral Knit Cami in Black slash Sage slash Ivory, size 1X for $54. I like the fit of it. What I don't like is that the straps are not adjustable and it's a little bit too low cut for my liking. I wish I could take the straps up some and I can't do that. 
It has this elastic at the bottom and I think it's really cute with a front tuck, but I don't like this big floral. As if it's going to be floral for me, it needs to be like a ditzy floral. So not loving the top all that much. These shorts are the Sneak Peek High Rise Plus shorts with Frey Hem in medium dark, size 1X for $78. $78. I can't believe these shorts cost more than the jeans. That is ridiculous. The quality is just mid-tier to me. They honestly are just kind of like maybe like American Eagle quality. They're too short for my liking. They don't fit. They don't pass the fingertip test. Don't pass the chub rub test. So they're going to go back. All right, these pants or shorts are the Absolution 7-inch short and light blue size 14W from Democracy. They're $78. These definitely do pass the fingertip test, um, but they are too long for my liking. Um, people love Democracy. I don't like the way the pockets look on the back, and the length is just a little bit longer than I really like, so... Also price tag, I'm just not gonna keep these. All right, first in this outfit is the 78 and Sunny Ruffle Shoulder Tank in white, size 1X for $54. Cute little ruffle sleeve, it's white, it's super basic, and it's see-through. So, I'm sorry, I can get a see-through white t-shirt anywhere for way less than $54. The shorts are the Skyser Blue fitted elastic black shorts in neon blue size 1X for $68. Love the color, but price tag's just a little bit too much for me. All right, so a recap of the Wantable box. First, we have the W by Wantable um, short sleeve ruffle tee in Kelly Green. They sent it to be in a 1X, $68. I'm giving this a 7 out of 10. I thought it was very comfortable. I love the color of it, but the price was just more than I want to pay for that. Next, we have the Love Vervet High Rise Slim Straight in Medium Light Blue, size 14W for $74, 10 out of 10. Love them. Definitely going to keep those jeans. Um, next, we have the Floral Knit Cami in Black Sage Ivory from West Key, size 1X for $54. I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. The fit wasn't great. It didn't have adjustable straps, and I didn't like the print. Next, we have the Sneak Peek High Rise Plus Shorts with Frey Hem and Medium Dark, 1X for $78. I'm giving those a two. They were too short and way too expensive. The quality was not $78 worth. Next, we had the Absolution 7-inch Short in Light Blue, 14W from Democracy for $78. I'm giving them a three out of 10. The quality was good. I just didn't like the length and the prices just too much. Um, then we have the 78 and Sunny Ruffle Shoulder Tank in White 1X for $54. I'm giving it a 3 out of 10. It was see-through and not worth that price tag. I'm sorry. Just no. And then last from Wantable, we had the Skyser Blue Fitted Elastic Back Shorts in Neon Blue 1X for $68. I really did like them, but they're just a little pricey. I do already have another pair of blue shorts. They're different, but... I just don't know that I would get my money's worth out of that pair of shorts. So my total from Wantable was $474. If I kept five plus, I guess this is off of if I kept literally everything, I would get $94.80 off, making it $359.20. I already paid $21.40 and I get $20 off um, my first purchase. So um, I would get a pretty decent discount. If I kept everything, it would be $362.94 for seven items. Um, I'm not keeping everything. The only thing I'm keeping from this box is the jeans. Absolutely loved them. So they are $74. I get $21 styling fee off. So that brings me down to $53 and then an extra $20 off for the promo. So they ended up being like $30 something dollars. Um, adding tax and I think they ended up being about $35, $36 for a really great pair of jeans. So love those, definitely going to keep those. So overall, my wantable score is, oh, I got to do math. Hold on. <laughs> 25, 31, 37 out of 70. Doesn't sound very good. Did I do that math right? 25, 31. Yeah. 
37 out of 70 for Wantable. All right, let's move on to Dia and Co. So like I said in the intro, Dia and Co just kind of inserted themselves into this video. I have not had great luck with them in the past, but for some reason, I have loyalty points with them and you know, might as well apply them to something. Hopefully there's something in this box that I will like. Um, my stylist says, hi Haley, I'm so excited to see you back for another box. Based on your likes, I've curated the perfect box for summertime. Let me know what you think. Add to your bottoms collection this time around with these boyfriend jeans. Enjoy them with a smocked blouse or this chambray button down for your day's teaching. On the weekend, pair the same jeans with the solid tank in this embroidered denim jacket. And for special events with your friends, reach for this boho maxi dress. I wanted to let you know that you have loyalty points to apply to this box. If anything steals your heart, take an additional $15 off. You can redeem them at dia.com, shop tab, Dia Domino Rewards Program. Don't forget to apply your loyalty points and check at checkout. Apply those savings before they expire within a year. Manisha. All right. So let's do this Dia & Co. try on. First up from Dia & Co. is the City Chic Fleetwood Maxi Wrap Dress in the color Summer Love. It's a size extra, extra small for $112. <laughs> $112, that's the sale price. Um, this is not the right size. I don't think you're supposed to be able to see the lining underneath this dress. Um, so I think I would need at least a size or two up. I love the flowiness of it. It's really fun. I don't have any occasion to wear this for, though, especially for that price. This is the Dex Plus Stormy Smocked Yoke Blouse in red and black, size zero X for $22. I had to double check and make sure that was the right size because they've sent me the wrong size before, and this top's actually kind of loose to be a zero X. Um, it, the buttons don't go all the way to the bottom, so I was trying to figure out what to do with it. Like, do you tuck one side? Do you tuck the whole thing? I don't know. It's got the little ties. If I can find them. There they are. Um, so, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the print, though. These jeans are the Molly and Isadora Acela Boyfriend Jean in dark wash size 12 for $73. Um, I think the size is probably just one size too small. I mean, these definitely do fit me, but they fit more like a skinny jean. If I wanted them to be more of a boyfriend jean, I would need to size up one. Um, I mean, they're fine. They're just kind of basic. This is the Molly and Isadora Lynn tank top in navy, size 0 X for $29. It reminds me again of the Lux tanks from Old Navy, which I actually used to have a navy blue one, and I just got rid of it because it was kind of dingy looking. So this actually might be a keep for me just because it would be very versatile, and $29 isn't too bad. This is the Molly and Isadora Myla button-up shirt in light wash size 0X for $59. It is too small, especially in the arms. Um, it's got the little roll tab sleeves, but yeah, it's just too small. It's a cute shirt. I don't have anything against it other than I think $59 is a little pricey. Uh, this is the Mary Sky Catalea Embroidered Utility Jacket in medium wash, size 0X for $79. It's got some little embroidery. I don't really love the embroidery, to be honest. Um, the material is very much like the shirt. It's not any thicker, so it's more of a shirt material than jacket material. Um, let me let you see what it looks like zipped up. There it is. Um has pockets, um, but it doesn't have the little waist definition that I would like to see on a YouTube. So, a recap of Dia & Co. We have the City Chic Fleetwood Maxi Wrap Dress. That sounds like Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> um, in the color Summer Love, size extra, extra small for $112. I think I would really need this dress in like a small. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, $112. That was the sale price. I don't remember exactly what the original price was, but it was more than that. Um, I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. I did like it. Like, I really did like it, but I have no idea where I would wear this dress. Can't wear it to a wedding because it's white. Um, 
and I don't really know what else is fancy enough to wear a dress like that for. Um, and it's also quite pricey. So I'm giving it a five out of 10. Next, we had the Dex Plus Stormy Smocked Yoke Blouse in red and black, size 0X for $22. That is not a bad price. It was on sale. I didn't love the sparkly threads through it. I don't think I mentioned that earlier, but it had sparkly threads in it. Didn't know how I like that. Didn't love the fit of it either. And so I'm giving it a 5 out of 10 because the price was great. <laughs> Um, next, we had the Molly and Isadora Acela Boyfriend Jean in Dark Wash, size 12 for $73. I'm giving them a 7 out of 10. I did think that they fit really well. I mean, like a skinny jean, I think I would probably need to size up if I wanted them to fit like a boyfriend jean. And I was looking for a dark wash pair of jeans. I just don't think these are the ones, but I am giving them a 7 out of 10. Next, we have the Molly and Isadora Lynn tank top in navy size 0X for $29. I am actually going to keep this tank top because it's, I think, a staple. It's definitely something that I could wear on a regular basis, and I kind of needed a new navy tank top. So I'm giving this an 8 out of 10 because of the need. It's very comfortable, very basic staple piece. Next, we have the Molly and Isadora Myla button-up shirt in light wash size 0X for $59. It didn't fit, so I'm giving it a 3 out of 10. I thought the material was soft. I thought it was cute. Like, I, I don't mind a denim button-up, but it didn't fit, so I'm giving it a 3. Um, and then last for Dia & Co., we have the Mary Sky Catalea Embroidered Utility Jacket and medium wash size 0X for $79. I think that price is ridiculous for that jacket. It felt like a shirt, not a jacket. And I didn't like the embroidery. It just, it just wasn't really very cute. I don't know if y'all like the jacket, like great. It just wasn't me. So I'm giving it a three out of 10. Um, so my overall score for Dia and Co, I really should have done this math beforehand. 32 out of 60. So we are slightly above 50% um, on this box. So the merchandise total overall was $374. If I kept um, five or more items, which again, this is off of the total price, I would get $93.50 off and my total would be $280.50. Um, the only thing I'm keeping from this box is the navy tank top which was $29. I'm applying my $15 credit, so that'll make it $14 because I didn't actually pay a styling fee for this box. So they did send it to me for free. So I still have to pay $14 on that top, but hey, that makes it about the same price as like Old Navy. <laughs> All right, last we have Stitch Fix. So this is my 20th fix. So I feel like they have a little bit of an advantage over the other two boxes. However, it is what it is. So my stylist is Courtney. I don't know if she's the style I had, I mean stylist I had last time or not. I can't remember. But she says, hi Haley, your next summer fix is here. I'm sorry to see that the only top, only the one top worked out for you last time. I hope more pieces are a win for you this time around. Let me know how the Vero Moda red tiered maxi dress works out for you. Would you like to see some more summer dresses for next time? We did not have any maxi skirts like you were looking for, but I did pick out these two skirt options for you to try out. Let me know what you think about each of these. I thought the market and spruce blue tie front top would be another fun summer top for you. I'm looking forward to seeing what new pieces make it into your closet. Cheers, Courtney. All right, let's do the try on. First up from Stitch Fix is the Market and Spruce Lilo button down tie front top in blue, size double XL for $42. It has functioning buttons, as you can see. Um, and then it has this tie at the bottom, which I thought was outdated. I didn't know these were still in. Um, I don't like the look of the hole, so I would tie it a little bit tighter so you can't see that big hole at the bottom. Um, but I just kind of thought the style was outdated. Um, it's slightly cropped. It's a cute print. I love the blue color, um, but I just don't see myself wearing it. The skirt is the Skyser Blue Liliana linen skirt in navy, size extra large for $54. The seam at the top is super tight around my hips, so I don't think I could wear it. Um, 
Yeah, I wish it didn't have that tight seam there. These shoes are the Mia Estrid heel in tan, size 8.5 for $59. They're very chunky, sporty looking. Um, I like them. I just don't really know how much use I get out of them. And I do think they actually run about a half size big. I would probably size down to an 8 in these. Um, but they are really cute and comfy. This is the Liverpool Leonora tie front skirt in olive size 16 for $68. The fit is great. It has this little tie belt, a button, and a zipper. And my favorite thing is that it has amazing pockets. Um, it's a nice stretchy twill material, but it is like a pencil skirt, which is not something I typically go for. So I don't know how much I love it. Don't think I'd get a whole lot of use out of it, especially for that price tag. So I'm probably going to return it. This is the Vero Moda Sofisa tiered maxi dress in red, size double XL, for $88. It is adorable. I love the red for summertime. The print is really cute. I love a maxi dress. A couple of problems with this dress is that the straps are not adjustable, which is kind of sad, um, and it does not have pockets. So that's kind of a bummer. It is a nice, like, linen y material, nice and breezy but I don't know how much use I would get out of a spaghetti strap dress. All right, so recap of Stitch Fix. We have the Market & Spruce Lilo button-down tie front top in blue, size double XL for $42. I'm giving it a five out of 10. I think the tie front top is just outdated. I need it to go away. Um, I like the color, like the print. The price is not bad, but y'all, I can't. Mm. Okay, then we have the Skies Are Blue Liliana Linen Skirt in Navy, size extra large for $54. It was cute. Like, it was it was cute. I didn't have really any problems with it except the fact that it didn't fit. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 because of that weird seam. Part of that might be my fault because I typically do have to wear double XL and Stitch Fix stuff. So maybe that's my fault that it's a size smaller, but I normally am a smaller size and bottom. So I don't know. Weird. Giving it a 5 out of 10. Next we have the Mia Estrid heel in tan, size eight and a half for $59. It's really not bad for a pair of heels. I just don't know how much use I would wear out of, get out of them. They were super comfortable though, um, but they're chunky. They're kind of like Doc Martin-ish, but way cheaper. So if you're looking for some dupes, they, they're pretty similar, I think. Um, I'm giving them a six out of 10. I did think they were good if they're really your style. They're not exactly my style, so that's why I'm gonna pass on those. Then we have the Liverpool Leonora tie front skirt in olive size 16 for $68. I'm not a pencil skirt girl. Didn't really love the style of it. It was very comfortable. It had a nice um, thick but stretchy material. So that was nice. Do you think it's a little bit pricey, especially for something that I wouldn't get a whole lot of use of? So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. And then last is the Vero Moda Sofisa tiered maxi dress in red, size double XL for $88. I loved it. I thought the print was adorable. Color was super cute. But for a spaghetti strap dress, I can't wear it to work unless I wear something over it. And that makes it difficult. So I wouldn't wear it to work. It doesn't have pockets, which is not great for my life and the price tag is just a little bit too much for me considering how much i probably won't really wear it and i've already been to the beach this summer so unfortunately i am not going to keep it it is really cute if it goes like 50 percent off let me know stitch fix because i did like it but i'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because of the price so overall out of our five items from Stitch Fix, we are giving Stitch Fix a 29 out of 50. So again, just over 50%. But I think percentage-wise, that might be the highest score out of our three boxes. Um, they do kind of have an advantage, though, because we have a relationship. But, you know, it's... It is what it is. Um, I'm not keeping anything out of this box though, and I am keeping one item out of the other two. So, hey. Anyway, the uh, subtotal of this box was $311 if I kept everything, which is one thing about Stitch Fix, you do actually have to keep everything to get a discount. How with the other two, you only have to keep five. But then again, with Stitch Fix, you only have to keep five, but five is everything. 
<laughs> anyway, that discount 25% takes off 77.75, making the total for everything 233.25. I have the style pass, so I don't pay a styling fee. So that would be the price 233.25. Yeah. So overall, I think really price wise, the three boxes were pretty comparable. Um, all of them were more expensive than I want to pay for things. Um, but if it's something really great, you know, I would, I would definitely consider it. Like I'm saying that red dress is so cute. Like I will not stop thinking about it, but I need them to drop the price to like $40, 40 something dollars for that dress. And I would definitely consider it. But yeah, overall it wasn't a landslide victory. Um, Stitch Fix was just slightly ahead of the other two. Um, they were very close. So if this helped you, let me know. I don't know that it would because they're very, very similar. But let me know what your thoughts are on this video. Give me some comments. Give me some love. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys here next time. Have a great day. Bye.